Welcome back to Decentralized News. Today is just a quick explainer. Somebody asked me to do a quick video just talking about uh, wrapped tokens and uh, why they are so essential to the cryptocurrency market. So wrapped tokens are effectively, if you want to put it in simple terms, smart contracts that represent locked collateral uh, of the original asset on a separate blockchain. So they indeed do provide uh, liquidity to this uh, booming DeFi ecosystem, if you want to put it like that. So the way to think about RAP tokens effectively is, uh, let's look at uh, RAP BTC, for example. It's a smart contract that uh, represent a lot correct collateral in the original asset, right? Which is uh, Bitcoin in this instance with the uh, RAP BTC and does that on a separate blockchain. So they are used to provide liquidity to a uh, expanding market in DeFi. And uh, so you want to more or less think of them as an IOU, right? So instead of paper representing a promise to buy back your BTC, inside is a uh, an actual live feed to a vault that contains every Bitcoin and uh, also the outstanding wrapped Bitcoin. So just a few uh, things to keep in mind is uh, DeFi needs uh, cross-chain liquidity for um, glo global uh, adoption effectively. So wrapped tokens uh, do provide a solution where the mechanism of wrapping a token requires uh, three parties, uh, a merchant, a custodian and an investor. So RAP tokens carry uh, what we call inherent liquidity and uh, market contagion risks. And uh, the value of RAP tokens is not necessarily equal to that of their original counterparts. So you saw that uh, with uh, staked ETH uh, recently and uh, that whole debacle where uh, you know people uh, you couldn't get that parity. And uh, so if we just think of uh, the importance of RAP tokens, so we stay on course with this video. So this uh, solution of uh, uh, that they bring to the DeFi uh, ecosystem is very essential because cross-chain liquidity is uh, pretty much the fabric of it. And uh, so if you think of each blockchain and it's a native uh, asset token uh, as a silo, so demand for that specific token is contingent on the applications built on that specific net network so decentralized finance and uh, it's a complex credit and lending ecosystem as well needs immediate settlement technology that works across all blockchains and uh, without uh, this technology blockchains can't really benefit uh, from the entire uh, growth of uh, the market so rep tokens uh, what they do in this case is sort of uh, break down those silos by offering uh, native tokens utility outside the actual blockchain. And uh, this innovation is what unlocks uh, floods of capital efficiency and uh, also enable a uh, diverse investment across most chains. And uh, so let's again focus on uh, Bitcoin in this instance. So all users... Uh, access uh, a rep bitcoin third party merchants for example you're looking at a decentralized uh, money market like uh, Aave or maker um, and when a user uh, requests uh, their rep bitcoin in exchange the merchant takes their btc and sends it to a custodian like uh, bitgo uh, for example managing the uh, rep btc dao um, and um, so the vault actually containing every Bitcoin and uh, rep Bitcoin that we spoke about earlier represents the uh, custodian. And uh, once, uh, let's say, BitGo receives the Bitcoin from the merchant, uh, it then mints the equivalent in uh, wrapped Bitcoin, which can be, in this case, an ERC-20 token on the Ethereum blockchain. And uh, this token is a smart contract representation or an IOU briefcase of the original Bitcoin. And uh, the custodian then uh, sends the wrapped Bitcoin to the merchant where the user actually finalizes the transaction. Typically, um, there aren't any merchant fees uh, in this uh, transfer because uh, they only charge fees for exchanging uh, wrapped BTC for BTC. 
So the user will be responsible for any gas fees used in uh, transferring rep BTC onto the Ethereum blockchain, for instance. So because this exchange requires uh, trust from multiple parties, uh, BitGo uh, has uh, also partnered with uh, Chainlink to provide a uh, automated trading system. If you want to know more uh, about Chainlink, which provides these uh, Oracle uh, services, then you can uh, go to our main site. We've done a review of uh, Chainlink and uh, other decentralized applications in the Ethereum ecosystem also use this uh, uh, protocol uh, to monitor BitGo's uh, balance sheet uh, when accepting wrapped BTC as collateral in exchange for uh, the equivalent. Uh, so if uh, BitGo uh, were to actually mint more wrapped Bitcoin than BTC that it actually holds in reserve, Every application using Chainlink's protocol would stop receiving wrapped BTC. So what is uh, um, the difference between a pegged and a wrapped token? So the value of a pegged token uh, or currency can be linked uh, to that of another asset, digital or physical, using a variety of uh, different approaches because uh, custodians actually link wrapped tokens to the value of uh, other crypto assets that uh, they do fall under uh, the pegged currency classification. And uh, they do um, not classify stable coins uh, such as uh, USDT uh, as a wrapped token because it pegs to the value of the US dollar in off-chain uh, cash reserves. And uh, unlike uh, wrapped tokens, these tokens or these reserves are not audited through an automated uh, protocol. So that's the difference. Um, so if you just want to you know, put it down to uh, final conclusion, the wrapped token is not the same as the original token. So wrapped Bitcoin is not Bitcoin. It should not be considered um, a fundamental equivalent to BTC. Uh, this uh, common misconception is why many uh, lose money in liquidation crisis events, such as some of the ones that we've seen recently. And uh, um, so the value of the actual briefcase uh, IOU depends on three things. Like we said, the quality of the live stream and the integrity of the vault and the briefcase holding it together. And uh, red tokens uh, in this way actually require three layers of trust that the original tokens do not. Uh, so it may seem uh, that the two have equivalent value for a time, but uh, when the market does turn bearish, perceived value of the wrapped tokens can drop faster than that of uh, the originals. And uh, this is how our wrapped tokens can lose their peg uh, through their uh, balance, um, though even their balance is still one-to-one. Uh, -one. So yeah, you know, be careful of our market contagion and uh, being caught up in uh, some of these uh, uh, situations. But uh, let me know what you think of uh, uh, this uh, review of our wrapped tokens, uh, what you guys want us to talk more about on this channel, also make suggestions, and also don't forget to check out the links in the description, of course, to my books, Tokenized, Trillions, and uh, Blockchain Applied, if you are interested in learning more about uh, real-world asset tokenization on the blockchain, and like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I will see you in the next video. Peace.